All right. Hello. Um, this is my ledger from that big day that I lost um, a lot of money. And I just want to see what I did. I'm just going to go over the trades one by one, you know, as the time goes on. Um, this column right here is time. This column right here is zone number. So I'm going to relate to my zone numbers and we're going to see what happened. So first trade of the day in the morning was um, a crude oil short. Zone number 823, go to my one note. Zone number 823 is right there. This was the trade dotted line is my entry. Solid line here is my stop loss. My target would be a one to one right here or whatever I was going for. I was going for an anti breakout. That means I'm going short here. Um, as you can see, the trend is upwards. I'm going after trend upwards, but I don't like anti breakouts. Yes, are counter trend and I'm fine with that. However, I don't like how this is a big rally and then it starts coming back and forth, back and forth, grinding up instead of a full fledged up like this candle. This grind up is not what I want to th that's um, not the opposition I want when taking an anti breakout. So now I understand that, Hey, anti breakouts should be taken after this bar, this, this current bar here. That's when anti breakouts should be somewhere up in this area. Uh, um, but that's all right. So, I mean, you can't be perfect. So whatever I took the trade, I lost two apples of risk. That's not bad. Here's the risk right here. And here's the profit loss. So here you can see that from these little pie formations that, all right, I mean, that was a small risk. This one was a humongous risk. And I tripled that risk right here because no reason. <laughs> so I'm, I'm training, right? I, I can, I, I give myself the freedom to single, double, triple a trade on the risk category. Uh, but I have to label why, and this label is, just, I don't have any reason. I just want to go triple, whatever. So let's take a look at the trade. NQ short, protecting extreme, is on A24. Right here was the trade, and that was the result. So here it was when I'm looking at it live. Oh, I'm going short right here. I'm going for a one-to-one -one right here. This is solid. This is fine. Um, This is, the more I look at this, this, zone the more i see that it's a holding split not a protecting extreme see how this the top bar is just a base or sorry uh just a solid candle it's not a wick uh, a protecting extreme would be more similar to a wick upwards but so it's a holding split formation do you see these down here in this location after a push downwards that's when you want to see a holding split protecting free space. So this should be a holding split, um, protecting extreme, but uh, because it's, it is protecting that extreme, the, the extremity. When I say extreme, I mean extremity, that high is protecting it from being broken. Still, it's not really, uh, not the best zone, but I do like the arrival. So I understand why I did it. Ended up, um, ended up going up into it and coming down for about a one-to-one -one and then coming up my target was at a one-to-one -one, I believe but I did not get it out because it didn't fill me so it must have barely touched a one-to-one -one. turned around and I lost lost I did move stop to the pivot in the zone which made the risk smaller but <coughs> bless bless me bless you bless you thank you crude oil we've got zone number 825 that next trade was crude oil 825 we see i went long this time so this is the same trade as before right that is big move upwards this is the same chart um now about right where it is now you see that i'm going long now so i'm switching from short to long But like I said, after that big rally up, this is the time to take an anti-breakout because I already know what's going to happen in this trade. So I go long, right? I go along, breakout. This this distal line right here is my stop loss, and boom, 
it goes upwards a little bit. So I'm like, I'm looking, I'm thinking like, all right, we got something here. It's breaking out of this high. I mean, this is, this is solid breakout. It comes close to the one to one and then drives down and, and pops me out, stops me out right there. Um, so I get stopped out on that trade, but guess what I do immediately? I see it coming down and like, no, that can't be right. You're not validating me. You're, you're not, wait, no, you can't make, you can't let me lose. No, I can't possibly be wrong. So I go long again. I go long right there. So see, look at this A25, right? This 15 minute bar. You see how this is a split up here? Well, the second trade in my distal line is my stop loss. That, that solid line is my stop loss. I get stopped out and then I plant another trade right at that same split. So I, I get out and then I get in pretty much right away long again, the same direction, same symbol, same direction. Um, and I get stopped out of that one, right? As you can see, it just popped lower. And this was zone number 826. So I lost, you know, 825, I lost um, six apples. Then this next trade, I lost five apples. And then this next trade, see how long I'm risking 13 apples on this next one. It's like, wow, now I'm, now I'm trading this one. So eight, two, seven, boom. Now I'm trading this one. You know, this is the same graph. So I, I longed up here. I longed this split right here. I got stopped out of both and then I longed right here and I got stopped out of that just by a little bit right there. And just like that, I mean, you, you same symbol, same direction. That's a huge, huge thing that I do, which is not good. I understand it. It's like, oh, this, this push downwards got to come up at some point. Cause it's just only a push down. It's overextended. It's got to come up at some point. And we, think of this idea as some type of it's it's ripe or it's overextended or it's the market is thirsty for a retracement it just needs a retracement we just can't i can't stand not giving it a retracement it's got to have a retracement but the market doesn't feel that way it doesn't i don't think that the market needs a retracement but i think that the market needs a retracement um, when this pushes down, like I continue to just buy, right? I continue to buy, buy, buy. And I really think that same symbol, same direction is not a good thing. And also the same dip. Essentially, it's the same dip that I'm trying to buy. And I just lost three times in a row on the same dip. Um, so don't buy the same dip. So if it's the same dip, you have to wait. Maybe I don't know how long you wait, or maybe you just don't buy until a retracement comes, and then you can then you can re-enter what what is going on in the market. I don't know. I don't know how to fix it, but I'm just saying that that is the error. That trying to buy that same dip is just I get honed in on that, and that's clearly not the way to win. Um, unfortunately, so I think that I do have some type of idea some type of notion that the market needs a retracement when the market clearly does not so i i think that i'm trying to cater to the market like i'm trying to say market here's some water i know you're thirsty here here's some water here's some water and the market's saying fuck i don't need it I'm, I'm working out right now bro i don't need to work i don't need your water and the market's saying that to me by stopping me out he's he's pushing right down right were against me um he clearly doesn't need a retracement and i'm trying to offer retracements to him he doesn't need retracements bro he doesn't need them stop catering to someone who doesn't need to be catered to i think that that is so so important um anyways that is what i see the most and if i wanted to really continue this you'd see that a lot um let's let's continue just just for fun. Um, let's stay on crude oil. 829, 830. 829. So a few moments later, I went long again. This demand open, this green bar. I'm thinking that this one green bar is going to be this change of the trend because this dip. Essentially, I'm still buying this dip. So this dip is lower. The same dip, right? It's a different charts, five minutes, not 15. 
but it's that same dip and like, oh, this went up a little bit. And now I think that that time it came up is going to be protected. I think it's going to continue up. I go long, I get stopped out and then I go long again. Look at this, 830 again. This is that same 15 minute chart. Now we went long up here, got stopped out. No, we went long up here first, got stopped out one, got got stopped out here two, got stopped out here three. Now it comes down, got stopped out here four. Now it comes down here, got stopped out at this split five, bro. Oh my goodness. It doesn't stop. Hey, you know what's good about me? I, I, I'm a habitual person. I, I'm, when I have that habit force, I freaking keep on doing that habit force. You know, it's, it's really, um, steady and that's a good thing. However, I've got a bad habit here and it's continuing. So I'm trying to buy that same dip, the same I'm still offering. It's got to have a retracement. Here you go. I, it's got to have a retracement. It's got to have a retracement. It doesn't, bro. It doesn't need a retracement. It doesn't need a couple green bars. It doesn't. It clearly doesn't. And and I don't know how to make myself understand it. Um, awareness is number one, yes. But right now, I'm just getting awareness. I don't really know how to uh, change my change myself when it's trading but it's continuing to I, this dip I tried buying five times so I mean this is an this is a problem bro if you really want to count how much money that is that's a lot of money I can assure you I can assure you that that is a lot of money that I just lost on just this dip you know and this is not even a big dip it's just I'm trying to catch bottoms trying to catch trying to catch bottoms so I think that that is the most crucial element of my trading to to stop is that um, not catching not trying to catch Instead, we should throw. What I mean is when a trend is against you, trends against you, and then you catch it, I, th I think that that is riskier than a trend is forward, 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 and then you throw it. By throwing, you mean I'm getting involved in that trend. So most of what I'm doing here, because I'm trying to have that retracement, I think that it's um I think that it's counter trend. I don't look, I don't count like higher highs, higher lows and, and actually compute trend. I just I just trade, okay? But I can kind of know that this current price is a trend lower, right? Obviously this is a trend up. You can't see. See that? It's a trend up. It's a trend upwards. Yes, the trend's up. All right, but for myself, I trade small. So right now, this push downwards pushes it at right now. I mean, it's a trend down, and whatever trend is super subjective. I, I that's why I don't I don't screw with it. But I can I I know that what I'm trying to do is catch this thing. All right, that's all I know. I know that this thing is going lower, and I'm trying to catch it, and I'm trying to get that retracement. Obviously, it doesn't work, okay? It doesn't work. Maybe you can try one zone in particular. Maybe this holding split right here, this split right here, the trade, the last trade that you did on this crude oil that I did, this might not even be the last one, but this this last one right here, that is something that I could take. It's a holding split outside local this line. The arrivals overextended of two, protecting free space of one in Somewhat in trend. I say I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say in trend, but protecting free space of one certainly. You can go for a one to one. I I'm I'm happy to do that. But you can't keep buying. If that breaks, I'm gonna have to take a step back. And maybe, maybe we have to be aware of our buys where 
if we get stopped out, we don't want to be in a place where we want to long again. If I get stopped out here, I don't want to, I have to make sure that this zone, this protecting extreme zone right here isn't like some zone that I really want to take. Um, because otherwise I'm going to be buying here and buying here and pretty soon you're buying the same dip just as what I'm doing now, you know? So you got to pick and choose. So I'm going to write that down, pick and choose. Um, where to buy the dip. I'm not, a f I'm not against buying the dip. All right. But I, I, I need to know, I need to put it where it is and don't be alarmed when, don't be alarmed when lost. Don't be alarmed when lost. Um, and don't put zone in front of another place place you want to go long or enter again I want to enter again lest you want to enter again lest you enter again and lose twice thrice etc okay so i'm typing my uh, talk to myself when i'm writing this down but essentially I'm, I'm saying that don't put a long here if you want to take a long here because if you get stopped out of this one you're going to want to take this one too so you're essentially you're buying one buying two and you continue down and pretty soon just one dip can blow 10% off your account, bro. Just just chopped like that with one of them. So what I'm saying is pick and choose. Pick and choose. And you're going to miss trades. You're going to miss retracements all day long. But I'm saying that you can be, I would take this holding split. That's fine with me. In fact, I want to know what happens to it. I want to know what happens to it. Um, crude oil long. This was 8.30. 832, 833. We're at both zones. 832. Ooh, it didn't work at all. See that? So this same minute, the same dip never got a retracement all the way lower. Oh man, and I continue to buy. I can't even believe this. I continue to buy this. So I lost this holding split. Yes, I buy this protecting extreme right here. That's been used. I buy that too. And guess what? 833. I buy the one under it. I buy underneath it as an intuition trade. It's like underneath here, past breakout line. I'm going to go long now. It's way overextended. You better, you need water now. You need water now. And essentially, um, I get stopped out of that one too. <laughs> this is seven. This is seven crude oil longs today. Seven losses. Oh my God. And it started all the way up here. I just can't even believe this right now. It's absurd. I went long here, lost, here, lost, here, lost, um, here, lost, right at this end, here, lost, this holding split that we just saw, and then down he way down here, this this line lost, and then on a after that breakout, after this breaking of the extremity, lost this one as well, just like that. So. What is going on? Oh man, it's 19 minutes already. All I'm just saying is that same symbol, same direction. Same symbol, same direction. I'm trying to buy the same dip. I'm trying to catch this one bottom. I'm trying to give water to someone who doesn't need water, bro. I'm saying, hey, drink some water. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. And the guy, the person's like, fuck you, bro. I don't need water. I don't need water. And he's telling me I don't, he doesn't need water. And I continue like, here's water, here's water. The market doesn't need a retracement. Here's a retracement. Here's a retracement. Here's a retracement. Are you, you're going to have a retracement now? The market doesn't need retracement. So why are you trying to give them retracement? And you don't know exactly what the market wants at all times. I understand. But seven trades in a row, there's no excuse. You are, you're chasing 
you're not only chasing losses, right? But you're chasing this one bottom and you're also, and you're chasing that validation, that gra- uh, that wave of gratitude or whatever you get from finally finding that retracement. Um, and I think that that is, it's deadly to the account. Um, I think this is an excellent example of um, of bad trading, of bad trading. And look, I don't really know what how to fix it. I'm just saying that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to buy the same dip, essentially. I'm buying the same dip and. If you can outlaw buying the same dip uh, off uh, in your trading plan, I don't know how you'd quantify that. You know, oh, I'm buy, buying a dip. How do you not buy the same dip? Maybe let it retrace. I, I don't know. We need to quantify it so because rules need to be actually law abiding. So it's just a tough one, but. Right now, where I'm just in the awareness phase of like, all right, we're just be- we're becoming aware of this shit. I mean, awareness is number one, man. Awareness starts starts the process. So, I don't actually know. Maybe I'll comment um, on how to fix this. But this is absolutely a uh, an issue with my with my trading. So, all right, peace.